An abandoned mine burns deep in the earth. Steam rises up through cracks in the surface, nauseous gases, smoke. The whole town is erased from history. But this isn't Centralia, Pennsylvania. Laurel Run was a small community just south of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Houses lined both sides of this empty street with 166 homes, a church, and two grocery stores. At the turn of the century, Laurel Run was your typical northeastern Pennsylvania borough. When a miner in 1915 accidentally left a still-lit carbide lamp in the Red Ash Mine when he left for home, Laurel Run's fate was sealed. A coal seam was ignited, which proved impossible to extinguish, and the mine was abandoned. The mine was directly under Laurel Run, and soon cracks opened up, spewing smoke around the town. Noxious gases seeped into homes. In an early picture of the annual motorsport event, the Giants to Spare Hill Climb, which is still held today, we can see the mine fire raging in the background. Over the years, several attempts were made to put the fire out to no avail. In the early 1960s, officials decided the townspeople were no longer safe, so the process of relocation began through a program administered by the Appalachian Regional Commission. The townspeople were bought out and the houses were torn down. By the end of the 1960s, Law Run ceased to exist. The fire continued to spread, however, and officials became concerned that neighboring towns would be threatened. In a last-ditch effort, the entire Red Ash Mine was excavated to try to extinguish the fire, and in 1973, the fire was declared out. So if you look over here, in reality, the fire was only contained and continues to burn today. All right. You can see the steam coming out of that pipe there. It's hard to pick up... Um, it's so faint. It's Both pipes are still steaming, actually. I see TV over there. And at one time there was steam coming from this area back here, too, is really cool. It's actually steam coming from that pipe, too. You can see the water dripping, the condensation dripping off. You know, I can feel heat. Right here. You can feel, when the wind blows a certain way, it just blows the heat right toward you. You can feel it. Yeah, it does feel a little bit warmer. Yeah, if you stand in a certain direction when the wind blows the steam and heat your way, you, you, uh, you feel it. Oh, look here. We have two openings right here. They're steaming pretty good, actually. Steam coming out of that vent there. Yeah, hopefully the camera can pick it up. And that vent there. It shouldn't be having more of a musty smell. You smell it? Because it's mostly steam. So folks, this fire is definitely still active. Let's take a walk up here and see what we can see. Oh, here's one here too. Look, folks. You can, woo, you can feel the heat coming out. Feel that. Put your hand right here. That's coming. That's coming out pretty good. You feel it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, in pockets you can feel it. Yeah. The farther you put your hand down, the more you're going to feel the heat. You can see that steam. That should be able to pick that up on camera. You can see the steam there coming up. Look over there. See it? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty active, actually. It's really coming up. I'm going to head up in this direction here.
That's like a piece of coal right over there. Big chunk of coal. What made this uh, Pennsylvania Highlands coal attractive was it was anthracite coal, which burns long and hot. That's why coal mines in this area were so ubiquitous. They had that kind of coal all over Pennsylvania. See up here, there's lots of sort of dead trees and open areas. This is probably an active area up here. It's like a one time, that might have been an event. Don't see or feel anything coming out of it now. Well, that's a kind of a fossil. Are they leaves? I don't know. Yeah, they're leaves. Yep, they're probably fern leaves. If you look at it, that's probably sections of a fern. You should have no trouble finding fossils up here, that's for sure. It looked like this area up here was uh, active from what I could see on the, uh, on the you know, Google Maps. Well, we can head straight up that way. There's no path, but there's really no resistance either, just a few trees. We're not going to get lost because we know we go up the mountain, go back, we go down the mountain. I just heard something move up there. Oh, it's a rabbit. I just saw him run up that way. See, this looks suspect here. Look at all the dead trees. This must have been active at one time. See how the trees are blackened too? It's a big piece of rock here. You know what? I think it's time to put up the eye in the sky. Oh, that's a nice view. Look at that. That's Wilkesbury down there. What I mean by eye in the sky is a drone. Mm -hmm.
Oops. Hey, look. It's spring. Here in Pennsylvania. Folks, thanks for coming along with us. You know what to do if you like the video. You know what to do if you like the content of the channel. Please be safe out there and take care of yourself. And we'll see you in the next video.